Hi, I'm Andy Stein, and I'm curating this week's calendar of events. First up is Urinetown, the hilarious Tony Award-winning musical satire, which takes on capitalism, populism, local politics, and musical theater itself. The plot involves a city which, suffering from a drought, imposes a fee on its citizens every time they take a pee. I'd go broke in Urinetown. Urinetown runs through May 26th at Act Theater. Moving from the strange to the more strange, let's saunter over to Abmeyer Wood Gallery in downtown Seattle for a peek at a showing of Alessandro Gallo's clay sculptures. This Italian-born, Montana-based artist fashions normal human bodies with normal human clothes and accessories and then gives them a realistic animal head. This show takes anthropomorphizing to a whole new level. The exhibit runs through June 1st. Next up is Seattle Style, fashion function at the Museum of History and Industry. Sure, there's plenty of rainwear, but also a man's utility kilt, a woman's fancy pink and black strapless gown, and these shoes. Oh, if only I knew how to walk in them. Showing at Mohai through October 14th. And lastly, I'd like to tell you about a film that I co-wrote and co-starred in with Olan Jones and Jim Turner called Shelf Life at Northwest Film Forum. It's the final feature made by legendary director Paul Bartel, who also made Eden Raoul, scenes from The Class Struggle in Beverly Hills and Death Race 2000. Shelf Life is about Tina, Pam, and Scotty, who are taken down into mom and dad's well-stocked bomb shelter when Kennedy is assassinated in 1963 and they never come out. 30 years later, mom and dad are long dead and the now grown kids have created a life for themselves based on remnants from the 60s, intermittent output from the TV and their wild imaginations. Shelf Life screen Saturday, May 11th, followed by a cast Q&A hosted by our very own Nancy Guppy. Nancy, where are you? Come here. <laughs>